We're live. What's up, my OG brothers? Okay, so Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Today's video, we're going to talk about why your cardio sucks for BJJ and Judo. So a lot of people, when they come over to Judo or BJJ or any form of grappling, even, even wrestling, <laughs> uh, okay, it's not just grappling. It can be other uh, sports as well. But, you know, this is what we're talking about today. Their cardio sucks. Even if they're somebody who is very active and they run, they do traditional cardio, they do marathons, they uh, they skip rope or whatever it is that they do or they play other sports. And the reason why their cardio sucks is because their movements aren't efficient when it comes to judo, BJJ, wrestling. Okay, we're gonna we're just gonna stick with the grappling uh, arts for now. Those are the three major ones. And when your movement is not efficient, then what you tend to do is you use more strength, energy than needed. So a good example is, and also your breathing, guys. Your breathing pattern is off. You're not your breathing isn't in sync with the movement. So that that affects it as well. So you're breathing too hard. You're you're contracting your muscles too hard. You're going too fast. You're going too slow. Not necessarily at the right times. Your movement is clunky as shit. It's not smooth. It's not efficient. It's not the way it's supposed to be for that particular sport, you know, or technique. And so that's why your cardio sucks because once you get good at the sport, you become more skilled and your movements are clean. They look this, the way they're supposed to look and they're done the way they're supposed to be done in the right sequence and everything using the appropriate amount of force when necessary, acceleration, deceleration, whatever, you know, there's a lot of things that go into it, but basically that's why you gas out faster. So even if you're able to run, let's say 10 K in, I don't know, under, under an hour, you know, like in 45 minutes, but that doesn't mean shit when you come uh, over to doing uh, grappling, especially like for your first time, you're going to gas out because you just don't know how to, um, to move properly. So you're using way, way too much energy. You contract, like you guys notice, like if you ever rolled with beginners, they spaz out. And a very good example of this is imagine somebody, you know, swimming for the first time, right? So they, 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 so you explain to them how to swim. You show them videos on how to swim and all that. And they're like, okay, cool. I got it. So then you throw them in a pool, you go swim. So then they start doing, let's say, uh, the butterfly, the butterfly swim, really tough, right? Now that demands a lot of explosivity and technique as well. And so the first time somebody's going to try that, oh my God, they're going to be so gassed out. They're going to, the movement's going to be clunky as, as, as hell. And on top of that, um, they're not probably not, they're probably not even going to move that far <laughs> and it won't be that fast. Right. And why is that? It's because the movement is not efficient. They're not doing it right. They're not breathing right. They're not, uh, kicking out their feet, diving at the right, uh, at the right time, coming up at the right time and so on and so on. So there's a lot of things that go into there. So they're going to suck until they, they get a handle on that and the movement patterns becomes a lot more efficient. And that's when it's going to be, um, you know, the cardio is, is, is going to be, uh, could properly be, I don't know, expressed in a way. Right. So it's good to have a strong heart, a good cardiovascular system that pumps your, your blood and oxygen and all, and fill it like oxygen breathing in, you know, uh, fills up the, the oxygen, uh, the blood with oxygen, oxygen circulates, blah, 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 all that stuff. So it's good to have that, but if the movement isn't efficient because you're not used to it, it's still, you're still going to get tired. So you want movement efficiency. That's number one. So, and that's why your cardio absolutely sucks. Even if you come from, you do a whole bunch of other sports and all that, and then you come over to, uh, to grappling eh? you know, you're going to have to, that, that, that cardio is necessary. Isn't going to carry over until right you're able, you become efficient at your movements. And so one thing that you could do that I, I find that's kind of useful, uh, that's good, uh, sprinting, right? So running, 
eh, no, it's not going to carry you over all that much. Um, it's going to give you like overall, sure, you know, our overall cardiovascular health, but it's your cardio is still going to suck. Um, so sprints, I like sprints because you get that, that burning feeling really fast. Obviously you get a warm up first. And so you don't hurt yourself and pull a hamstring when you're doing sprints, but I like sprints. If you want to get up your VO two max, but because I, I know a lot of guys are into that. So I would do that running. I'll make a better video on that. Why I'm against running. Sorry about the noise. It's the food guys. Uh, I should have waited till that thing was done, but okay. Bear with me. So sprinting is something that I would do personally. Um, but once again, there's a better way to go about it. Like if you want to work your cardio really good, what you could do as well is that you could simulate the, the VO two max thing, right? That burning sensation of going all out by doing drills. You could just do it like that. And then you could do it like that. And the benefit of doing it like that is that you'll actually develop um, technique at the same time and become more efficient at your movement. So not only are you working your cardiovascular system because you're just going all out, but at the same time, you're going to become more efficient at the movement. So you become better at your sport, which is really what ultimately what you want to do, right? You want to get good at your sport. You don't want to get good at sprinting. Like you're not Hussein Bolt unless you are, and that's your sport, but that's, that's something else. So definitely I would do it that way. I wouldn't even bother sprinting. I would, for example, if it was for, for judo, then I would just have uh, have partners lined up. And then I would just like, let's say for, <clears throat> I don't know, two, three minutes, just fro, 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 fro. And, you know, crash band, they would just come, I would stand there, they would line up, you know, let's say two, three guys. And then I would just like throw them as they run into me on a crash band, of course. Uh, that would be the, the better option. That way your partners, you know, they, they, uh, they don't get hurt and all. So I would do something like that instead. And now it would be intense. It would be intense for two, three minutes and, or well, maybe even just a minute when you think about it, but then you'd have to have enough guys lined up so that they, they come in fast enough and don't give you a break. Right? So I would do, do something like that. And if I wanted to work my overall cardio, like when people go run and stuff like that, like 10 K dude, I would just do judo movements or, or do randories like light randories here and there without stopping. And I would just work on technique, technique, technique. I would do that for an hour instead. Like there was a video of um, uh, my buddy uh, Red Chucks, well, formerly Red Chucks, now uh, uh, Swol Swolverine. Yeah, pretty cool. He deserves that name, Swol, and he looks like Wolverine. Could be Wolverine. Yeah. You know, maybe you should have cast him. Anyways, hmm. so in one of his videos, he was punching the bag for an hour. Or was it two hours but at least an hour for sure and he was explaining in that video dude i work my cardio by punching the bag i don't need to run and running like uh, when i'm fighting uh I'm, I'm, I'm fighting it's better for me to be able to fight stand there and, and and go for an hour than it is for me to be able to run and that makes a lot of sense and here's the thing guys everything is very skill specific right I'm not, there's nothing, I have nothing against running per se. I just don't do it because uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in another video. But I mean, do you want to get good at running or do you want to get good at fighting, right? So if you want to get good at fighting, then fight. And you could adapt that and simulate that so that it gives you that same cardiovascular benefit. So what, uh, what Wolverine was doing is amazing. You just punch. Obviously, you don't go hard because if you go hard, you're going to burn out and you won't be able to continue. But you could like ramp it up, do intervals, you know, on the back. Bam, 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 bam. And then bam, 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 bam. And then slow it down and so on. And or you just go nice and steady, depending on what you want to do. So you could work your cardio that way or you could kick the back or you could do all kind of judo throws. You could do rolls. You could do whatever, you know, whatever it is that you could come up with. Um, and that that uh, so, so that you can actually work on your technique and get good at your sport specifically and get all those benefits like that because time guys is your most precious commodity like that's the only thing that you could never get back like boom you're watching this video right now right it's gonna last let's say five minutes ten minutes whatever then once that time is gone it's gone man so you want to be very efficient with your time you know so and as older guys we have like a lot of stuff to do right not 
And even the younger guys, guys, like you don't have forever, man. And you want to be efficient with it. So even though you feel like you have a lot of time, you don't have, you have less responsibilities and less, uh, less maybe overall stress in your life. It doesn't mean you should go waste your time like that because you never get it back. And for us older guys, like, man, do you really want to spend like uh, three hours a week running when you could have spent that time doing, developing your skill set and doing fun stuff? Like, okay, if you like running, fine. You know, then, then sure. That's, that's another story. Then you do your thing, right? But I'm talking for people who think that they have to run or do any kind of traditional um, uh, cardio activity, okay, to 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 supplement, to complement their their, uh, you know, for their fitness for martial arts. Like you don't have to. You could just do the martial art and you could still get really fit. We're talking about cardio now for um, strength and size of your muscles and all that and endurance, then yes, you're going to have to, you know, lift some weights, right? But for cardio, you don't have to do anything else except the sport itself. You just have to structure it in a, in a way that, uh, that simulates what you're already doing. And, you know, when you're doing like, let's say steady state cardio, or you're doing like sprint, uh, VO2 max type of stuff. Okay. So that's that. Let me see here. Was there anything else? Uh, da, 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 da. Man, that's about it. So I pretty much covered it. Guys, what do you think? Do you think that I'm right? That I'm wrong? That um, because yeah, I know like, hey, you know, like in boxing, in, in any kind of combat sport or sport, like people always be running. But just because people have been doing this forever, doesn't mean that they're necessarily right. And even for Ross Sahabi, um, you know, GSP's uh, trainer, he even said it in a video once. He was talking about uh, it was very, you know, controversial, like not so to me, but to a lot of people. He was he was saying how skipping a rope is a waste of time, right? Because it's not the same movement. You, you don't, you know, sure, it build, builds up your calves, but you could do that by doing shadow boxing. Well, he didn't say that. I, I I don't. I'm not sure. I don't remember if he said that or not. But I'm saying that right now. Like you could work out those calves by just hop jumping around, like you know, and doing your shadow and staying on the ball of your foot, and you would work out your calves anyway. So, anyways, do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? What do you guys do to to uh, uh, for your cardio? If you do anything else, or do you do it the way I do it? Now, if you don't do it the way I do it, I would strongly urge you to consider giving it a shot and tell me if it uh if it if, if it comes up to the same thing actually i think i believe it would be even better because you can get a lot uh you'll improve a lot faster in the sport in the martial art that you actually care about right so that's it for this video guys hey uh i want to announce something so somebody one of the guys in the community gave me a great idea great great idea so he was telling me how, hey, maybe I should think of um, analyzing videos, you know. So have you guys send in uh, videos of you guys doing your sparrings or doing your uchikomis or doing uh, whatever, you know. Obviously, my specialty is judo and, and, you know, and grappling in general, but judo more specifically. So if you guys send me tapes of you guys doing whatever, I could – and you have a question regarding it, like whether you're doing it right or not, then I could take a look at it and analyze it for you and even run it through my coaches and my peeps, right? All the guys that I know and give you feedback on that. So send me your videos, guys. And the best way to do that is uh, to send it to my email. And what you do, guys, is that it's you don't, you don't just try to send me the video by email because usually the files are too big. What I suggest you do is that you upload it on YouTube, but you put it under unlisted so that only the person who has the link is able to see it. So you send that, you, you film yourself, you send it to me by, um, by, uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, <laughs> by email. I'll check it out and I'll, I'll make a video about it for you. We'll take a look at this, look at it on this channel. I'll break it down in front of everyone and yeah and then all the guys at the same time in the community can look at that video at the same time and then give you feedback in the in the um in the comment section right so i think that's a great idea 
um the one of the 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 guy who said that in in uh you know in our community who, who made me that suggestion he suggested i charge for it but uh no I, i'm not gonna charge for it for now i mean i i want to do this for you guys and it might get to a point where okay if there's too many videos coming in and you guys want to um get me to do it uh, put a priority on your video to get it out uh asap then yeah we'll take a look at that but i haven't uh, decided yet um but we're not there yet so when that happens that happens but for now guys send me your um send me your videos so upload that stuff right put it unlisted or, or if you're if you don't care you could just put it public then people will see it if they they fall on it if not put it unlisted right send me the link and when you send me the link by email i have the link i'll check it out i'll uh, i'll break it down i'll watch it i'll break it down for you i'll get you guys feedback you get feedback from me you get feedback from the community and of course everyone who i showed the video to like in my in my network of uh you know judo guys and all that right so i think that this would be a great way to help you guys out and if you have any questions like when you send me that video you could ask me at the same time and we'll, we'll you know we'll We'll, we'll do our best to to break it down for you guys. So everyone in the community is going to be able to help you. And at the same time, well, there's me and there's everyone else uh, behind me as well. Right. And yeah, it'll be a good time. And I think it would be, it'd make for great content. So know that if you guys send me a video, I'm going to, I'm going to break it down in a video like this. That's going to be on YouTube. Okay. So don't ask me not to, because if you ask me to make a video for you and all that and not share it, then then it's not, um, it's not what I'm trying to do. Like I could do that, but then, uh, I mean, it would only be for your benefit. So in that case, then I would have to think about, you know, charging for it. But if it benefits everyone, I want to do it for everyone so that everybody benefits from, um, uh, you know, from, from the feedback that you're going to get right from me and from everybody else. So, Man, I forgot. I don't think I had the name of that person who made that suggestion in our community, but thank you very much, brother. I really appreciate that. I think it's an amazing idea. And yeah, let's do it, man. All right. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hey, guys, I'm really trying to get this channel uh, up and going. So if you can, um, you know, like the video, share, subscribe, notification bell. And I'm trying to get this uh, community up, this channel up to like 10,000 by the end of this year. So I would really appreciate it if you guys help me out. And um, yeah, that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.